Hello everyone, this is Dr. Kalpana and we are watching this video on my YouTube channel Pharmacy Lessons Made Easy. The topic of today's presentation is prescription which is more towards parts of prescription. Firstly, we will understand uh, what a prescription is. It is a written order by RMP that is Registered Medical Practitioner a pharmacist which gives silent instruction for dispensing of prescribed medicine. This word prescription has arrived from two uh, combination of two words that is pre and script. Pre means before and script means writing or written. Thus the term prescription refers to an order that must be written before a compound drug can be prepared. Okay? So moving forward to the parts of a prescription, the very first part is the patient information. The full name and address of patient is necessary on prescription. It is generally done for identification purposes. Writing the full name will help the pharmacist to identify the correct patient and this will avoid any chance of medicine to the wrong person right so uh, as you can see here a format of patient information so the patient name surname patient identification number beneficiary code referring doctor specialist sex allergies everything is mentioned here so the age and sex of the patient is more important factor in deciding the dose of medication especially for pediatric and geriatric patients right so that's why it is to be mentioned over there the address of patient is for record purpose so that the patient can be contacted at later stages if required in some of the cases body weight is also written on the prescription this is done to calculate the appropriate dose in special cases right so moving forward to the next part which is the date Every prescription uh, generally bears the date on which the particular medicines were prescribed. Right? By putting the date on the prescription, the misuse of drugs can be avoided. Uh, this is particularly helpful in the case of habit forming drugs. In case of chronic diseases like asthma, diabetes, hypertension, the same prescription is to be repeated over a longer period. Right? So that's why prescription date will help the repeated over the uh, longer period in, and that will maintain the proper treatment and course of chronic diseases. This date will also help the pharmacist in keeping the record of the patient. Right? So moving forward to the third part of prescription which is superscription. Before writing every prescription the symbol Rx is generally used. The Rx is abbreviation of Latin word which means recipe, your take, take to. In early days it was taken as request to Jupiter. Uh, it means that every prescriber is requesting to God of healing, Jupiter, to heal his patient quickly. Okay? So the next part is inscription. It is actually the main part of prescription which contain the name of medicament which is to be prescribed. Moreover, the quantity which is to be dispensed is also mentioned here, right? So that inscription uh, generally consists of main three part that is base which include the name of active ingredient, the adjunct which is required as other ingredient to increase the stability or palatability of that medicament and the vehicle which is used to dissolve the solid substance and or to increase the volume of that prescription. Uh, in the modern day, uh, medicaments are not compounded. Usually, the pharmacist fill prescription using already dispensed dosage form. As an example, the ferrous sulfate syrup, right? So, in this particular dosage form, the in this syrup, the base is ferrous sulfate, which is suspended in the adjuvant uh, vitamin C, which is used as antioxidant and the color and the flavors have been added the vehicle that has been used to suspend the ferrous sulfate is syrup solution right so this is an example of inscription 
uh, but while dispensing the exact quantities need to be mentioned that how much quantity are to be added to make a particular formulation correct so moving forward to the next part that is subscription in this part physician give direction to the pharmacist please note that the direction is given to the pharmacist which is regarding the number of doses to be dispensed and any other direction for preparation of the doses form but in modern system this part is almost eliminated okay uh, so the next part is signature signature contains the information for the patient from the physician right so the subscription was the direction to the pharmacist by that physician but signature contain the information for patient from the physician that will include the directions like quantity of medicament to be taken uh, the time when it is to be taken and the method of administration all these will be mentioned there these instructions are transferred on the label of the final container so that the patient follows these instructions very carefully correct so the next part is renewal information the prescriber indicate on every prescription whether it may be renewed or not right if yes then how many times that medication has to be repeated if uh, that drug is a habit forming drug then these directions are of particular importance right the next part is signature address registration number that is information regarding that prescriber so at the end of prescription this information is generally written there must be signature of the prescriber with the ink it authenticates a prescription so along with the signature there must be address and registration number of the prescriber also so, so that it can be traced and for the record purpose also it will be very helpful uh, the last part is a special labeling instruction the number of uh, authorized refills uh, can be indicated on prescription by the prescriber Uh, if refill information is not required then uh, this space is generally kept empty when prescriber writes as needed or refill instruction then only pharmacist should refill it with a frequent consideration with the directions there right so uh, it is uh, i would like to mention here that uh, for schedule second control substances uh, in which narcotic and psychotropic substances are included the refills are not permitted that's why uh, we have specially mentioned here that refill part right so for schedule second drug schedule two drug controlled substances no refills are permitted i hope uh, you people have liked this video please click on the like button below the youtube channel video and subscribe my channel If you like it please share it on social media thank you very much